Camline's Festival of Creativity and what could be more creative than music, but how do you market music brands? Well, let's talk to Anders Valkvist from Be Real, CEO who's been here, Canline, 17 years on the trot. You're a marketing agency, you focus on musical brands. How do you do it? Why do you do it differently from other people? Uh, we do it different when we work with music. We do lots of other marketing too and advertising, but with musical entities we can uh, work a little bit freer. They come with us to us with their creatives and they come to us with a white sheet of paper and they let us uh, take it and run with it and deliver something that actually solves a problem without being too much involved in how we do it. But they're musicians, they're creators themselves, they're creations are the music that you want to market and to publish the published music yes. what is it an easier job doing it that way or is it more difficult because you've got to work within what they want to do as well I think it's uh, I think it's easy for us because also the music industry is changing a lot and uh, the structure of it from having been something 10 years ago to be something totally different now totally cloud cloud based and uh, back into back to the roots with uh, artists performing much more than selling selling plastic so uh, that there is no uh, system or no formats anymore makes it easier for us to find whatever solution that is cutting it last year you won a line with the gorillas yes. uh, a, a musical band but there's also all the arty bits that go around it are they an absolute blessing to work with and how do they keep control of what they do because of course they're still the brand at heart they keep control of uh, their visuals and of, of course like any the, the brand entity and uh, we work with uh, uh, with the creators of the bank Jamie Hullett and and uh, Damon Alburn uh, and we that was our, our London office who did um, and uh, they kept control of that but we got the free reign to work uh, with the launch of the album which was uh, coming out as a combination of uh, an app that you would uh, have to use in order to pre-listen to listen to the music to the album when it dropped. Uh, it was Geofence, there was a gamification in it, so you had to kind of play a game to go to, to find a place where you can listen. Lots of fans showed up at the same uh, at the same place, so it was a social event as well. Um, and uh, the result is now that 500,000 people walk around with the gorillas in, in, in their pockets, which makes it an ongoing platform for gorillas to do whatever they want with that is already a channel out to, to uh, many of their fans. Is there still value in the 30 second spot? You know, such and such is for sale, yeah. go buy it. Yes, absolutely. If it's well done and it's well crafted and there's great creative behind it, then you hit. Uh, the core of the brand, absolutely. What do you do next then? Because if you've already sort of set the bar with what you do with Gorillas, how do you then improve it, get more engagement and, and support the artist? We could go, I mean, in, in the case of Gorillas, we keep working with them. So for the next endeavors that they do, and they collaborate with brands, they did a collaboration with Jaguar over helping Jaguar finding uh, developers and uh, engineers, and uh, we help them with that. and. Uh, uh, we keep we keep evolving it when it comes to gorillas, but when it comes to other artists, we work with we work with artists. We get a lot of uh, um, we get a lot of questions about helping them with different things, and I think that there's a there's a future in in uh, changing the power in how in between the uh, no in the in the, between the artist and the audience. You uh, have a lot of small steps, and the artists can be much closer uh, to the audience than they have ever been. And, and back to the creative control that they have, they uh, will have a much bigger creative control if they also own the platform, which in, in the case of Gorillaz, they do to an extent, but you can take that much further. I was going to say the most musicians will have their uh, agency, that distributor, if you like, music company. Is this giving the, the artist back more control? I think so. And uh, I mean, I think that uh, musical entities, uh, like publishing and uh, record companies uh, will have, I mean, they are obviously thinking about how they do things differently, but uh, I think that artists can, uh, can uh, come closer to uh, their audiences in many ways, also commercially, and, uh, and, and they are. Let's talk about Cam Lions. You've been here 17 years, certainly many more than I have. Uh, how d have you thought the, the whole event has changed over the years? 
uh, changed a lot. We used to be a production company, so we came here to meet all the agencies, and uh, the agencies were our clients. So we were here like the cat watching the goldfish, and um, and uh, that was awesome. Uh, we only go here because we want to create opportunities to do great work. What changed now is now we're an agency and uh, we are going here to meet our clients and our clients are still here because the brands are here and we are a tech driven agency. We work with all the brands that you see down here at the beach, the Spotify and LinkedIn and we don't work with all of them but their type work with Google a lot, Spotify work with. Uh, and. Um, and uh, they are present here, which they weren't only a couple of years ago. And but, but the structure of the actual awards as well, they've changed. Do you think they'll continue to change? Yes, I mean, they have and you change. You, you, <laughs> you have seen how digital or cyber have moved up from being uh, very early in the week when nobody's here to uh, taking more and more of, a, of an important position and then probably will sway back again because everything is digital and uh, technology is cutting through anything so I, I think that uh, that is a that is a big change um, but the role of creativity is I mean, it's still the same I mean if you do something if you tell a great story in a good way and you do it on a 30 second spot or if you do it in a multitude of, of, uh, of uh, platforms Forms. Um, it's still a great idea, it's well done research, it's a good strategy and it's well executed and then you will be here and you will be on the stage and hopefully get it. You're an award winner here, how important is it to get a particular lion? It is important because it's a, it's a receipt that you have done something great but on the other hand, I mean if you have done something great uh, you have already, it has already been seen. You, I mean, it will have been on Jimmy Kimmel or written about in uh, in uh, in lots of media, and uh, and it would already be already be known. So if you don't exactly win a lion for the same campaign, um, I don't think that it changes so much in one single case. Fair enough, Anders. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.